Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to do a video on foundation sticks. First off, I want to start off with saying don't mind that my face doesn't match my neck. The whole process of me doing my makeup before this video and setting up, my self tanner has gotten darker and darker and darker. So when I did do my makeup, it did match my neck, but it is in the process of like processing right now. So bear with me because I know it's awful. Um, but the self tan will be great at the end. So bear with me with that because it is a little bit darker as of now but after I shower that will go away. Before I start I want to tell you that this is a great self tanner. So this one is a subline bronze. Um, it is L'Oreal but it's not the mousse. It's like a gel. You probably only get like two or three applications out of this bottle which is $15 but like that's five bucks an application not too bad I know completely off topic but it's so good so I did pull it out of my collection of products today and I used up the last of it so you can kind of see there that it's empty but it's so good so it processes so fast as well as this it's a great color so I didn't do my hands I do my hands tonight before I go to sleep so they aren't too dark so I do my whole body first and then my hands tonight and then shower in the morning but it is like a perfect like bro like this is my normal color this is the self tan color so it's very bronze but for someone being so fair you can't have anything with like orange undertones so this one and the Saint Tropez one are probably my favorites um but I just wanted to mention that really quickly because it's really good okay so jumping into foundation sticks so foundation sticks have been all of the rage right now it's something that's going to give you full coverage but be really easy and convenient to use meaning that you can just slap a few stripes onto your face um, and then go in and blend it out so I have used a couple foundation sticks normally I don't think there's so many brands that have them so right now I'm using the Makeup Forever and the Maybelline so I am going to compare those two so this one here is the Makeup Forever which is $50 as well as I have the Maybelline one which is $5.99 when it is on sale so originally it's $10.99 here in Canada then went on sale at Shoppers Drug Mart, it's $5.99. So I did get both of these. A huge price difference, absolutely. So obviously this one is quite high end. I purchased it from Sephora and this one's from a drugstore. So huge difference there. But the product is essentially supposed to be the same thing. So this is like the stick form. So you can kind of see there. All it is is like a stick formula and then the Maybelline's is the same. So it's a stick formula. With that being said, the Maybelline has less product as it has 9 grams and the Makeup Forever one has 12.5 grams. So it is a little bit more product. Of course, it is a lot more expensive, but it is a little bit more product. So I fill you guys in because when I was looking at buying the Makeup Forever foundation stick, everyone loves it, raves about it, thinks it's phenomenal. But I was like $50 for something that like I don't get as much product. So let me just pull it out here. So this guy here, this guy here is 30 milliliters and this one is the Makeup Forever HD Foundation. So similar concept, just not in a stick form. So I thought I would get a lot more product like in a liquid form formula than I would um, a stick formula. But I don't think that's the case because I do find with the stick formula, whatever brand um, you do use, that you use less product. So with a foundation, I like throw on lots of pumps onto the back of my hand and I just, my beauty blender just soaks it all up as well as I don't normally use it all and it goes just in the garbage on a wet wipe, whatever it may be. With the foundation stick, I do one stripe on my chin, two stripes on my cheeks, and then one on my forehead. So essentially six stripes onto my face, which I find isn't very much foundation, as well as I find the stick formula very convenient and easy to use. So you don't have to worry about when you're traveling a lot or anything like that, that it is um, going to explode or that it's going to leak. A great item for someone who travels a lot. It's a good recommendation for sure. So I want to jump in and just tell you the difference between the two. So I did really not want to spend $50 on a foundation stick um, if I did, wasn't sure that I loved it or not. I did get the shade 117 in the Makeup Forever one. That is my shade when I'm very fair and pale. So obviously not when I'm self-tan, but when I was uh, pale and fair like last week, um, this is the one that I used. I really, really like it. So 
with this, as many, many people have said, you get a like a medium to full coverage, very buildable, as well as it goes on so smoothly, you can use any technique and any brush to maneuver it into the skin. So I use my Real Technique sponge. I also think it would look, work really great with like that MAC, um, the, like the toothbrush looking like blending brush for your face, something like that. I did try it with like a foundation brush. I didn't love it as much. I felt that it like really took away some of the product. So I really liked it with the Beauty Blender as well as I think I'm going to try it with the MAC, like the oval things that like you rub it in. And because I know it doesn't soak up as much product. So that's definitely what I'm looking for. Because I'm finding that um, whilst my product's getting soaked up into sponges or into brushes. So definitely something I'm looking into is getting one of those. I'm just trying to figure out what the exact um, one to get and the right one to get. So if you have a really good one that you currently use, let me know down in the comment section so I can research that one as well. Anyways, I find that this one's really good coverage. It stays all day as well as something I really love is that being a normal normal skin type, I normally have to set my foundations with a powder just because I'm not dry, I'm normal. So meaning things will move around a little bit. So I normally set it with a Laura Mercier powder. With that being said, I found with the foundation stick, I didn't have to. I found that it kind of um, laid a little bit powdery, like dried powdery. So then I didn't have to set it with a with a um, with a powder, um, so that it did last quite a long time during the day when I did set it with a powder. It obviously would last a lot longer if I did set it with a powder, um, but it wasn't essential in the Makeup Forever case. I think the hype is so real for this um, foundation stick because it's so good. It blends out so seamlessly. It works with every primer, every. Um, technique that I have used it with. It lasts quite a long time during the day. I wouldn't say it's the longest foundation stay stay power that I've ever tried. I think the L'Oreal Infallible is definitely the longest I've ever tried. Um, but it does last all day. It's a great product. It's well worth the $50 if you are going to use something like this every day. Um, if you were looking for more of a sheer coverage, I probably wouldn't recommend this. This is more of a medium coverage for sure. And if you want, you can build it to full. But it's a great product. I do really like it. I find that the shade range isn't the greatest. I know Makeup Forever does like the the multiple shade range, but for someone as fair as me, 115 is too pink, and this one's a little bit too orange, so I do really have to blend it out. So they could really improve on like the shade range because I could go for like a me like a 116, not a 115, one, not a 117, but like a 116, so kind of in between there. So definitely something I would recommend for that, um, but it does stay really well, blends out really well, and I find I don't use too much product. So a really good option. And then to the Maybelline sticks. So I do have the Super Fair one, which is, this is 110, so I think there's 105, so this is the second lightest, as well as I have a contour shade in 310. I have to say that, again, I said I paid $5.99 for these, so I wasn't expecting the world, but I was expecting something similar to the, so the Makeup Forever one. It is not similar. Um, it is not a cheaper alternative. It is not a dupe. I find that I use so much of that product. It's such a thin consistency that I have to overlap it multiple times, as well as it's like very um, streaky and it sits so thin on the on the skin and on the face. So I don't have like lots of blemishes to cover or I only have normal skin and it didn't work for me. So I found that if I had to do one stripe of this, I would have to do like five stripes of this um, on my face because it did not blend out and when it did blend out, it would just disappear. So the like redness under my skin would be back and I could see unevenness. So definitely not something I'd recommend if you want like the full coverage. And going back to like being a foundation stick, you'd expect to be a little bit more of a fuller coverage. Um, if I wanted something very sheer and very light, I would use something like a BB cream or a CC cream instead of something like a foundation stick. So a foundation stick, I would assume being a lot thicker, a lot more coverage so that you can kind of build it up where you need it. But that is not what these offered. Um, I will insert a clip at the very end for you guys to see the difference between both of them. But the contour color though, it is a darker shade, same formula, same consistency. But like I said, it blends out really nicely um, and is very creamy, but it doesn't 
it wouldn't be a full coverage. So because I used it as a contour stick, meaning that I just wanted to give like the shadows on my face a little bit more definition, it really worked for that because it wasn't covering anything. It was more so just bronzing up my skin. So I really like the shades for a contour stick. I definitely would not be spending $50 on a contour shade in the Makeup Forever one. Um, because I don't think it would be worth it, but if you want a, a cheaper alternative of a contour shade, this one's a great alternative because it is such a, a cool tone as well, so it's not super warm. I really did want to like the $5.99 one and love it and use that as a cheaper alternative. Absolutely I did, but it did not work the same. So the Makeup Forever is definitely a lot more coverage, um, creamier, and it blends a lot better without using so much product. As well as the product, there is more product in the Makeup Forever stick. The Maybelline one is a little bit thinner of a product. I find that I had to use a lot of it and it definitely was not a coverage. It was definitely a sheer, sheer coverage, which when I used, went in with my Beauty Blender and blended it out, it really moved the product and wiped it away. Definitely the Maybelline you'd have to set with a powder if you were going to choose that option. The Makeup Forever you can set with a powder or not set with a powder depending on your skin type, but Maybelline no matter what your skin type is, you would have to set it with a powder. And just for reference, I am in the color 110 um, for the Maybelline one. But again, everything will be listed down below that I did talk about. The video on the foundation sticks. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something new. And thank you so much for joining me today. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up or subscribe if you are new to my channel. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon.